Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. How are you all doing? Today is going to be a very, very, very satisfying video for me because we are going through my empties that I can finally throw away after this video. I find it so hard to keep this box of empties and also I have no idea why but I have keep, been keeping my empties in this strange little ugh, chest that is like a metal chest but it sits on one of my shelves. I have so much stuff that I have been hoarding for a while to show you guys. So let's dive in. I have some shampoo. Uh, this is the original mineral shampoo. Uh, this is an Australian brand, I believe. I have the Hydrate and Conquer one. I have a shampoo and a conditioner. And I love original minerals. I do love using the shampoo. Uh, will I be repurchasing? Yes, I already have repurchased. This is one of my favorite shampoos that I have been using for a while. A friend of mine introduced me to this. I love this shampoo as well because it has UV filters in it. I have a mouthwash and I have another mouthwash. We go through quite a, a lot of these because we both use this mouthwash. This is the Aesop mouthwash. I mean, I always feel so bad about throwing these beautiful bottles away, uh, but we use so much of it that I don't even know how to reuse these bottles anymore. I was thinking, okay, what can I do? Can I put my washing liquid in it? Or maybe I can put my conditioner in it? You know, like, I just keep coming up with some ridiculous ideas. I love this mouthwash because it's not harsh. It's not like Listerine that literally numbs your mouth and numbs your tongue. Uh, I do use that one sometimes, but I do find it so, so strong. This is much milder. This tastes quite good as well. Not that I'm suggesting to drink it. Uh, another product from Aesop that I have is a face cleanser. This is the Amazing Face Cleanser. And um, this has Ylang Ylang, Lavender Stem, Mandarin Rind. This is great for oily and combination skin. I use this as my second cleanse. And will I be repurchasing? Not right now because I have some other cleansers that I've got and I have been using. I won't be repurchasing yet, but I don't don't know if I can part with this bottle yet just because of the pump I really like the pump so maybe I will put another cleanser of mine into this just because it's much easier to use I also have some micellar waters one of them is the bioderma one I do use this as a cleansing water just to remove my makeup if I have a lot of makeup on before I do like a proper cleanse I will remove my makeup with this and another one is the Garnier micellar cleansing water I do like it as well but I find that this one actually sting my, stings my eyes when I try to remove makeup off my eyes so I prefer using the Bioderma. I already have another bottle so don't need to repurchase that yet. I have a toner. This is the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. This is just a calming one and I actually really enjoyed using it and it comes with like a spray so you can actually just spray it on your face and not necessarily use a cotton pad which I really like. Just kind of helps you to calm your skin down to give you a bit more radiant complexion. I have another cleanser and this is the Environ AVSC cleanser. This is probably my fifth, sixth bottle of this cleanser. I don't know. I've been using this cleanser for a while. I really like it. I use it as my second cleanse or I use this one in the morning because it's quite mild but it will still remove any excess oil, any sebum. I have a bath product and this is the Veleda Lavender Relaxing Bath Milk and I love this product. If you love having a bath, if you love like bath time and having all sorts of like bubbles and salt and things like that. This is a lovely, lovely product. It just makes the water much softer. It gives it a beautiful like aroma. Um, I love using it because it always makes my skin feels really, really soft after and it also leaves a bit of a scent on your skin. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we have a body cream. This is the number seven cocooning body souffle. This smells so good. Unfortunately, it's finished. But this smells so, so beautiful. It smells like a holiday, basically. And I love using products like that because 
This one is quite thick, it's very nourishing, it's very moisturizing and especially in winter when you are like sun deprived and you just want to go on a holiday and lie under a palm. This is such a nice ritual to have after your bath. I have the Umberto Giannini Beach uh, Wash and Beach Care Conditioner and Shampoo. This has coconut oil in it, it's really really nice but I found it a little bit Thin. That I think just depends on your hair type. I have very thick hair and I have a lot of hair. So when a shampoo is very thin, um, I have to use quite a lot of it and I just end up going through so much product. I'm sorry I keep touching my nose. I keep getting like hairs on my nose and it makes it really, really itchy. It smells really nice and I did find that my hair was quite like nice and silky after but I do think I prefer the original minerals. I have a bottle of my fish oil here. This is the fish oil that I take every day. This is the Wiley's Finest Wild Alaskan Fish Oil. This is the one with lemon, just because I find that the lemon makes it taste a little bit better because I take it on a spoon uh, instead of capsules. Uh, Amiga 3 is the supplements that I always take. I go through phases of taking different supplements, but this is the one that I always take it's good for your nails, it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, just to nourish them from within. And I have another cleanser. God, I've been through a lot of cleansers. This is the Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser with 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. And I like using this cleanser very much because it has the glycolic acid in it, so it will very mildly exfoliate your skin. But also bear in mind that cleanser does not stay on your skin for that long, so it's not gonna give you like results that like an acid toner would do because it has usually a higher percentage of acid or like a mask because it stays on longer or some kind of treatment. But still, this is a nice step to um, include acids into your routine. I have a little spray here. This is the Omorovisa. Budapest Queen of Hungary Mist. Oh my god, this bottle, it literally gives me life. I absolutely love it. It's like a matte glass and it's so pretty and it's so expensive. And that's why when things like that finish, I'm like, why? Why did you have to leave me? But this is a really nice face spray. This has hyaluronic acid in it, so it will lock moisture in your skin. And I go through so many mists and sprays during summer especially because I have one in like every bag that I own just because in hotter weather you want to refresh your face you want to give it a bit of you know like moisture and I've been flying and traveling quite a bit so I always have one of these in my bag when I'm on a plane so yeah this is great I already have another one there are so many out there that are much cheaper but will perform quite well too I just really like how the mist of this one the smell of this one and the results that it gives. And another spray that I can see is one of my absolute favorite, favorite sprays in the world. Honestly, I love this one so much. This one, this is the Trilogy Hydrating Mist Toner and this has rose, I think it has geranium as well, uh, lavender too, and this has the most beautiful smell ever. This smells like spring, it smells like a garden, it smells like freshness, it smells like cleanliness, is that a word? And it has the most beautiful cloud rather than, you know, like precise spritz. I have a few cartons here because the products came in patches. I have the flash mask. I love anything from Patchology. I love their masks. I also have another one here. This is the Restoring Night Eye Gels. Because these actually have retinol in them, which is amazing for wrinkles, for crow's feet. I don't know why they call them night masks. I mean, yes, it's definitely better to use retinol in the evening rather than in the morning because retinol makes your skin um, more prone to sun damage but it's not like you leave them overnight they put them on for five minutes and then you take them off but never mind yes I absolutely love these they do work and you do really see the results and kind of you know fresher brighter under area same with these this is great um, this has hyaluronic acid it also has vitamin b5 so both of these from Patrology are great I need to order some more and I have some other masks here this is the skin Iceland this is a fresh start uh, mask this is like a two phase mask so there are two little pouches and you put first one and then you apply the second one on top and I love this mask this is great for like deep cleansing and deep 
clogging, purifying and detoxifying and all those things. This is great. And I have another product from Environ. This is the AVST2. This is my moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I use on a daily basis. This is like my tried and tested moisturizer that I know that will never fail me. It will moisturize my skin but it will not break me out. So I use this morning and evening depending on you know what else I'm using that day. If I'm using oils and other serums I will not use that but I always have this one on hand. I have a serum here from Aesop. This is the oil-free facial hydrating serum. This has panthenol and it has ylang ylang so it's very soothing, very calming. It is nice however I didn't see much changes in my skin with this one so I don't think I will be repurchasing. I have a eye cream here or an eye serum. This is the Skin Iceland Brightening Eye Serum. Love, love, love this product. This is definitely one of those eye products that you can see the results pretty much straight away. You put it on and it really brightens up your eyes. It's like, I don't know, deep puffs and I like that it's light. I use that in the morning usually. I use heavier creams like the Kiehl's one, the avocado cream, that's a bit thicker, you know, that applies under makeup really well, so that is great. I have a regenerating neck and decollete area cream from Dr. Hauschka. This has the funniest smell ever, like I don't know if I can get over the smell of these for the sake of the you know, the products. I actually didn't finish this. This has like half of it because I just can't get over the smell. Or maybe I just got a bad batch or something like that. I apply my moisturizer down my neck anyway, so I don't know if I need a separate product just for that area and if it does anything different. So I'm not gonna say anything about this one. Maybe someone had a better experience with it. I have a couple of hand creams. Uh, one is from Veleda. This is the Evening Primrose uh, Age Revitalizing Hand Cream. Love that one. It's quite thick and lovely. This is just a Norwegian formula one. Like you can see, I squeeze everything out of my products. I will get every last drop from every product I own because I just don't know why not, you know? You have to, you've paid for it, you might as well. Then I have a Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. I love this product. This is like a mask and you actually apply it before you shampoo your hair. This works so, so well and when you do do it, you can really see how like lush and thick and volumized I am totally making words up your hair is. I have a little spray. This is the Champneys Heavenly Days Sleep Pillow Mist. I really like this one. This is just the lavender mist. I think there's a bit left. Let's just spray it around. I prefer the This Works one, so that's the one that I'm using at the moment. So I will not be repurchasing that one for now. I have another spray for my face. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love this spray so very much. Maybe just a little bit. No, nothing. I've just, I think I've spritzed the world out of this one. Love this. This is so refreshing and like awakening. It has rosemary, it has mint in it, it has eucalyptus, so it's really like, you know, like spritzing life into you. Love having this one with me on like a day when I'm tired and I love using this one after the gym just because it just, you know, energizes you a bit more. And I think the last product I have here is my Mario Badescu drying lotion. Unfortunately, the problem with this product is that you always have a lot of the pink powder left but the salicylic acid that sits on top, which is the liquid, goes pretty quickly because it just soaks into the cotton bud that you, you know, put through it. However, I will keep repurchasing this product again and again because this is the best spot treatment that I have ever tried. I am using at the moment a very similar one from Yves Lhomme that is also like a pink powdery, you know, cream, but it does not work you know, half the same as this one. This one, you know, you put it on in the evening, you wake up and, you know, the, the spot is dried out or it's gone down. I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna go take all of these to the bin and throw them away. I've been waiting for this for so long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.